Hey folks, uh, we're back again for a little more investigative goodness with some blue coats. Uh, I'm Strash. Uh, you can find me on the internet at Strash A. I use he, him pronouns, and uh, I'm uh, excited to see where the case takes us today. It's been uh, it's been pretty tense, but we did end on some downtimes. I think we're uh, undercover currently, trying to convince some nobles to, to tell us where they've stashed this horrible drug. Uh, so yeah, I'm looking forward to that. Lauren, how about you? I'm um, Lauren. I uh, am at the Stray Kiwi on the internet, and I use she, their pronouns. Um, yeah, all I can remember is we're going to go make friends with uh, the evidence locker lady at some point to get some ghoul, and I can't wait for that to happen, because I feel like it's either going to go really fun and be great and a good laugh, or it's going to be terrible. <laughs> it's just the only way to find out, I guess. Uh, Judd. Uh, I'm Judd, uh, he, him, and I am excited to get back to the investigation. Uh, we, I think we want to talk about something about heat and, and changing the system a bit. Yeah. Yeah. We can, we can discuss that. That actually might be worthwhile. So, um, <laughs> hilariously, uh, I looked at heat and I was like, wow, heat seems a little high. So I, uh, I actually pinged, uh, Harper and Sean and they got back to me and they were like, oh yes, uh, heat is not just high, but it should, uh, it should, it should apply every time you, you find, like, a box for the case. And on average, you're also supposed to be finding, like, two boxes, uh, like, per, uh, investigation. And I was like, alright, so let me, let me double check this. If you're going up against nobles, their threat, their, their tier four, sorry, threat, <laughs> I've been playing a lot of Band of Blaze. Uh, their tier four, uh, you get double the heat, which makes it eight, and if it's someone important, which for nobles and council members it almost universally is, that means you immediately get pressure, which means that you'd be averaging like two pressure and investigation, which means that we'd be hammered at max pressure. Now, heat for, um, heat for for uh, thieves is not is is a lot worse, right? Because like the outcomes on the rolls for entanglements and stuff is pretty awful, but. If you actually look at the heat charts for the blue coats, at that point you start losing investigative traces because like higher ups just remove them from your pool and stuff, and it 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 becomes like a two steps forward, one step back on every investigation. You can theoretically bulldoze your way all the, all the way to the end, but there is no like there's no good mechanism to 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 handle that. So it was it's kind of hilarious because I was actually expecting the the answer to be like oh well you know just. Th this is too much heat. We've, we've changed it so that it's not quite this ridiculous amount of heat. And what I heard was like, no, 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 actually, it's double the heat. And I'm like, what? <laughs> so uh, I don't know how we want to do this. Like, that's the that's the official ruling. But it seems, uh, I, I, I don't know. It would, it would like, triple the length of our investigation, I think. Uh, <laughs> because we'd have to get, like, two boxes in the investigation. And then, like, every entanglement, would we'd, like, lose one, pretty much. Because, like, there's only... One real outcome on six, and if you're rolling four dice, you you might get some four to fives, but those are not super great either. Um, so I don't know how people feel. Do we just, like, run it the way that we've been running it, where we apply the heat just once at the end of a job? or Because, like, that's been rough. We basically waste two to three downtimes each session trying to work our way through, uh, through these pressure clocks, which, A... There is no legit way of doing it. It's just we're using the long-term mechanic to kind of, like, strung our way through it. And two, you can only say, well, I, I try to talk to some higher-ups and smooth things over so many times before it's, like, just kind of boring. Uh, so, I don't know. What, what, what do people want to do? How, do? how do people feel about this? Do you have thoughts, Jed? Uh, yeah, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> uh... <laughs> it's a legit answer. <laughs> yeah, I'm wondering if I've created a doomed investigation. Uh, I, I don't, I don't really think it's your fault. I, I mean, I asked. I was like, "Hey, how do you, how are you supposed to handle these things?" And they're like, "Well, you're encouraged to try and pin all the blame on people on the street." And I'm like, "Yeah, but we're trying to kind of do a Sherlock Holmes thing, and and we're trying to actually like investigate the investigation instead of just like being like, oh, this is a very." witty reflection of the system perhaps we should understand how cops why cops do i don't know but like yeah. the like yeah, yeah. i don't we're, think i don't i don't think it's entirely your fault i think eventually a lot of this stuff always leads up right um i guess if you're looking at something like the wire they don't actually hit city hall until like season four uh right. so like uh spoilers uh but uh <laughs> 
<laughs> yeah, I mean, it's like a 10-year-old show at this point. I'm, <laughs> uh, but yeah, the uh, so like most of the time they're hitting gangs in the street, right? So like that's like tier two. You're going to be getting like four heat that's easily manageable, particularly in a group of like three or four players. Um, but yeah, I don't know. I don't know how we want to handle it for our game. Yeah, as Lester Freeman said, if you follow the money, you don't know where it's going to go, right? So, uh, yep. yeah. Um, I mean, personally, I feel like the pace for hitting heat and pressure matches the fiction. Like, okay. I feel like, yeah, like, I, so I feel the way we've been doing it kind of, to me, makes sense mechanically for two players and then yeah like the amount of pushback we're getting from the higher ups feels like it matches onto that okay because i I am actually one of my favorite scenes in the game so far was when we had that flip over and we had the the like my friends got captured and i was all like i have to rescue them i have to be a cop so i can't just punch you in the face you evil person um so good uh right so like i actually had a lot of fun with that and i i don't want that to like never happen but at the same time I think that just living at four pressure and like rolling in the in or three pressure, whatever the max is, like uh, and and rolling in those upper tiers is, I'm pretty sure it's four because I ran the math and it's 52 percent chance of a six at that point, which means that more than half the time you're losing a box, and half the time it's just not good. Uh, I I think that testifying in front of your higher ups could be really cool, but I don't know that I just want to do that all the time. So, how do you folks feel? Right. Uh, Lauren, if I'm interpreting your statement right, and again, please correct me, I don't want to put words in your mouth, are you saying that you're happy with the way that we've been doing it, so maybe we just stick with that? Yeah, I, I, yeah, I'm, I'm good with the, the way we want to run it, um, but it, it feels right the way we're doing it currently, I think, yeah. How are you feeling, Judd? Yeah, I would stick with that, and let's see where it goes. Um, yeah. Okay, cool. So, and, so and- we just do it the way we've been doing it. <laughs> Official rulings be damned. And let's also be open to the very real possibility that that you two might you're, you're you know Drav and Maratui might come together and be like you know what this is a bum deal let's let's form a gang and get in the game like that that's <laughs> <laughs> that's much more likely come from Drav I think yeah um, so I don't know like I, that that's. That, that 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 could be a thing. So let's I, I yeah let's let's keep going and see what kind of walls we hit. All right, sounds. I mean, because the other thing that I feel like that is different about the cases that maybe this was designed for in our case is that we're probably uncovering witnesses and and uh, and uh, evidence at a slower rate too. So I mean, I've been marking off how often you folks have been getting at, you know, that, that stuff. And it hasn't been all that often. Um, there have definitely been times where you get like glimmers of information, but you don't bring anybody in. You're just kind of piecing things together. So I don't think you, the, the case, because we're, because you're, you're, you're also being more cautious because I think you're, you're, you're working at a higher level. So we're also seeing the scope of this. Yeah. So, yeah. Um, and, and yeah. And the scope I did was kind of nutty. So, uh, yeah, if I could, anyway, we'll talk about this when it's all over, but it, it's good. I'm happy with it, but let's, uh, let's, uh, keep going and see how it goes and be open to the fact that it might, might become a disaster. And that's cool too. Uh, unsolved cases are awesome. Uh, oh yeah. So I don't, I don't, I don't mind that. Skip forward to the cold case 20 years from now, trying to uncover the, the ghoul case again as ghoul raises yeah. its head once more. Oh yeah, 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 totally. And I've been watching a lot of Killing Eve, so I'm totally up for like uh, a murder case being the next one. But uh, oh, that would be fun. We have yeah. a lot of other things. We have a lot of other things to talk about before we get to that. So we'll, we'll see. Uh, All right. If we, yeah. Anyway. Uh, so, I, I believe we needed to convince our good. Uh, I have her name. Hang on. Daphnia, the uh-huh. elderly lady at evidence, that she mm-hmm. needs to give us some ghoul. And we were going to go and rope some people in via, what's the name of the girl? Oh, Lizette. It's plausible. Yeah, I don't have her in my notes. The 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 lady of the noble house that we you went riding with. 
Yeah, that was Lizette. Yeah, Lizette. Fancy last name. <laughs> Rowan. That was that was the house. That was the name of the house we investigated. Yep. Uh, yes, correct. Mm. Was that? Yep, that's our. The, yep. Okay. All right, Lizette. Uh, did you say what was the last name? Uh, Rowan? Rowan. Rowan. All right. Cool. So, do we want to keep pursuing the Rowan House investigation? Because there is there is a, a a a small bridge that is irking me, which is to say that the red sashes said that Lizette was their source or ghoul, but I don't understand where Lizette got the ghoul in the first place, why she was willing to sell it to the Red Sashes, and why she is playing the I don't have any more, my source dried up, like I, I can't get any more. Uh, mm. She did point a finger at uh, the younger Bowmore. Uh, I forget his first name. Finn. Finn. Uh, so... Cool. Junior. Uh, so I don't know if, if, if ultimately we're going to have to go and talk to Finn or if we bring her the ghoul, we have her throw a party and then we use that to connect some dots with the people that she's actually connected to. Yeah. Mm. yeah there are for sure like some inconsistent stories that aren't adding up. So it would be interesting to like, yeah, try and put them side by side a bit to see what shakes out like that. There are a couple of other investigations that we can pursue. Not a ton. Obviously, Finn Bomore is a big person on our list. I need to understand the rivalry between the houses because uh, there is Bomore Sr., who is chairbound and dying. I have that in my notes. And there is some indication that Finn is pursuing some sort of, like, a fight with the Stranford, uh, Stranfords. And I'm, I'm just trying to remember if he's the one pursuing it or the Rowans are pursuing it. I, I think um it is... There are actually several families pursuing that. Oh. Uh, that cool. there is a pretty well known uh, city council fight going on right now where the Bowmores, the Clellans, and the Rowans are aligning against the Strangfords. Okay. Uh, the other angle that we can look at is what is going on with Commander McClellan? Because the Commander of the Watch, whose son is running Charter Call, clearly has his fingers in this pie. Mm. Uh, he talked to a lady from Ironhook. He's the one that promised her that she's protected. Uh, you know, there's a, there's a whole bunch of pieces there that I'm not sure of. And we need to start our clocks on figuring out who is a spirit warden. Because we've got absolutely guess, no yeah. ends. So. That's right. That's right. Oh my gosh, there is so much to investigate. Yeah, so uh, you tell me what you think is fun and what direction you want to go sniffing first. Oh my gosh, I feel like the spirit one thing, I think we're going to have to lay out a lot of groundwork for it to try and, I think we discussed this last time, it's like sort of try to find a way to figure out who that is because that's going to be quite complicated and tricky to do in general without thinking about uh, how much trouble we're going to get in for that. Um, the McClellan thing is super interesting because that's kind of popped up here and there. Like that kind of feels like that Shilokian thread where you're like, oh, of course, like that came up so much earlier. And, and, and why did we follow that in the first place? Um, so that, that feels like it's got a lot of juicy stuff um, we can investigate. And then I think the, the lizard thing just sounds fun. <laughs> like, <laughs> I, I like the idea of befriending our evidence locker friend um, and using the ghoul to see where that goes. I'm also conscious of uh, we've got a finite supply of ghoul, <laughs> so I'm a bit worried about how we use it and when and, and why for what for our end in case... Uh, in case that gets used up. So okay, so what I'm getting is that, well, I, and I agree with this, is that we're going to run the Spirit Warden uh, investigation sort of like as downtime clocks. Yeah, I think I think is, it's going to be like a downtime clocky thing. I think I think that that's fine. Until we, until we have a Spirit Warden to pull on, I don't think we have a whole lot of ins because their base of operations is a freaking fortress with freaking crows around it. I, I just, we, we don't have a lot of... We we can't throw our weight around there. They're they outclass us. So um so maybe we leave that 
for now, uh, and we keep working on into downtimes. Uh, do you have a preference between trying to start up a investigation of the McClellans, uh, confronting the Bowmores? Because remember that Finn actually plays at being kind of a street rat, so he actually is on the streets, which means that we could just like confront him outside of the protection of his noble house. Uh, right. Or do you want to do you want to try and organize a party? Ooh. It's a really good question. I almost want to go shake down Finn to see what Finn knows. And okay. then, like, maybe think about doing a potty thing. That, that, might, sounds, yeah. that sounds fun. Uh, and it's going to cause so many problems. Um, oh, my God. <laughs> yeah, it's going to get me fired again. Um, oh, let's see. No. Uh, okay. 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 We don't have to do that. We could do uh, what, like, what angle do you want to take on this, right? Because, uh, like, obviously we can... We can pinch the kid um but like do we do we throw him in a basement and chain him to a pipe which seems to be our <laughs> mo when we're questioning people or like what do we want to do it's such a good point because i kind of feel like it depends a bit on finn's nature like is finn the kind of kid where you can be like hey we're police and throw that around and be like y you're just playing at this you know right. like yeah so let me let me let me ask judd this judd uh do i have any contacts on the street that can give me like just look at like a top level overview of like where does Fan hang? What do people know? What do people say about him? Like, can I? Yeah, let's let's make a fortune roll. That sounds uh, great. Uh, what what should I what should I use for that? Um, should I roll my connect with people skill, whatever it's called? I uh, one second. You don't play for two weeks. You forget everything. Relate. Should, yeah. should, should we yeah. do like a quick relate fortune roll? Yeah, totally. Okay. Uh, let's see here. Boop. Oh, oh, oh. There we go. Uh, I got a four. So that means decent information. Yeah. Um, he's got a... What you would all call a gang that's not even really on the map yet. So um, tier zero or... Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. And they're... They Yes. Um, the Hanged Men. Ooh, I like it. <laughs> nice. Just the right shade of pretentious enough that when I throw my baton around, it's... Uh... Totally. Okay. And they totally haven't gone and gotten, like, uh, bad tarot tattoos either. Like, they, they totally haven't done that. Oh, that's amazing. Oh, this is going to be so good. Um... Do we do totally we know not. what they're about? Are they like hawkers? Uh, yes. They they are trying to move drugs up and down the the economic lines. Awesome. So if they're tier zero, there's not a whole lot of them. There's like five guys right. basically, right? Three guys. Three guys. That's it. This is gonna be oh, amazing. Uh, cool. Uh, so so I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make this look like a legit bust. Uh, I'm gonna tell oh, what 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 district are they in? They tend to operate uh, in Night Market. Awesome. Uh, I think I think I'm gonna tell. So that if they're hawkers, that means that they're moving drugs. If they're moving drugs, that means that they're a legit target for the investigation. I think I am going to post a report saying that I've heard of a very small time, time gang that may have access to slightly bigger time drugs. And I think Maya Tui and I are going to go and have a little chat. And at the time, I'm going to also see if I can procure an additional blue coat uniform. Ooh. I'm just I'm just looking for a uniform. I'm not actually looking for a blue coat. Okay. I don't think it's difficult for you to procure an extra blue court okay, uniform. Awesome. I'm not going to make you roll for that. Uh, the, 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 the rough size of one that I'm looking for is one that'll fit my friend, the cutter. Oh, <laughs> God. So I think Rona, oh Rona, Lord. me and Maya are going to go and uh, we're just going to take a look, see what, uh, what these boys might have gotten themselves into. And gosh darn it, if I happen to recognize one as the son of a noble house, I... Uh, what kind of a terrible thing will that do to his daddy? And 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 maybe if he just gave me some information, I would just look the other way, you know. So I yeah. think that's. I think that I think maybe we try that play. How do you feel, uh, Lauren? Like 
You took the thoughts in my brain and you said them out of your mouth. That's exactly what I was thinking. <laughs> all right, all right. So uh, do we want to make an engagement roll or, or whatnot now? Uh, yes, we totally want to make an engagement roll. Uh, cool. Judd, you want to piece that together for me here? Yeah. I'll just click on some fortune roll buttons and start tap, tap, typing. Someday I'll bookmark the engagement roll page. 58? But not today. <laughs> Definitely not today. Uh, no, that's actions. How to play, payoff heat, example score, teamwork, crew, planning and engagement. He's roll. Uh, is this operation particular bold or daring? What, what yeah. page is it on, Judd? Just tell me. Uh, 128. 128. All right, carry on. Uh, and I'm going to take one of my little uh, things and put it there. Okay. I don't know uh, that's particularly bold or daring. I think putting it, I, so I would have said it's like kind of pedestrian until you put your old cutter friend into a blue coat. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that, that is a bit more daring. Uh... I think that shows real moxie. <laughs> I mean, I need backup, but I don't trust the cops. So, hey. <laughs> right. Yeah, that, can... that doesn't that doesn't take away its moxie. <laughs> okay. I can, I can see it now. You go, like, you're going in front of the eel and the eel being like, unsanctioned like offices like roughing up some I just think of somebody local I don't know ask them I didn't even catch their name <laughs> we'll see. I'm gonna lie out of my ass it's gonna go poorly I'm gonna get takes on that get fired clock let's, oh, let's so just keep rolling listen, though if, if if I get to if I get to role play an NPC from blue coat HR this whole game will have been worth it everything <sighs> yes. will have been worth it <laughs> this will be probably my my peak role playing experience <laughs> amazing let's just get <laughs> Would you like an exit interview? <laughs> Unauthorized Sorry. personnel on a job, on an investigation. Oh, cool. Uh, does the plan's detail expose a vulnerability of the target or hit them where they're weakest? I mean, I, I, I know it's cheesy, but I'm going to argue yes, because we're bringing heavy hitters against three kids playing at being cool. street rats. Cool. Sounds good. Uh, can any of your friends or contacts provide aid or insight into this operation? I, I do believe what I do, do have one. Yeah. <laughs> are there any other elements that you'd like to consider? Maybe a lower tier. They are lower tier. You get not one more day, one more die. Uh, oh, this is going to end well <laughs> for them, uh, for us actually. But, uh, here we go. Boop. Oh, oh that's a crit. crit. Holy goodness. Fantastic. Carries the action beyond the initial obstacle, deeper into the action of the scene. My God. What is a drug in Desk of All that people like snort? Uh, spark? Is it Spark? I, I, I don't, I don't, uh, hang on, cool. I'd have to, I'd have to grab my, my, <laughs> my book. Let's go with Spark. Okay. Let's go with Spark. Let's say that there is a type of Spark that people snort. Okay. Why don't we just say that? So, the door is open. Uh, you all walk in and Finn is there. with two of his mates, their noses are sparked to char, like so like they've got burn marks all over their noses. They've got spark pipes all over the table. What's the what's um, the what's the first rule of being a hawker? Never yeah, get oh, yeah, high I mean, on your own supply. <laughs> did, did Biggie rap for nothing? Like what <laughs> was it all for nothing? Uh, there's a man and a woman with him who are one like the woman is like under the table and the man is uh on the table and they're passed out okay <laughs> uh 
<laughs> and you all walk in and Finn looks up and there's there's not like a good back door so he just tries to kind of run past you uh i mean this is oh actually i think this is secure oh uh, yeah which i Control. don't oh. i don't know that i have any dots in uh oh i think i might oh are you gonna uh, shoulder check him and drop him that'd be rad yeah i think i am <laughs> that's awesome <laughs> Especially because Bia is quite tall, so I imagine this is a very long arm um, that extends, like, as this fellow lopes Cool. Uh, the door. Controlled great. He weighs a buck twenty soaking wet. <laughs> and, yeah, I'll do that. Nice. Oh, excellent. <laughs> yeah. So what, what does that look like when you, uh, when you take someone down? Oh, yeah. Like, I, yeah, you're right. He's like super lightweight and also I feel like quite loose limbed um, from yeah. being quite high. So I think, yeah, like yeah, Maya, when he tries to run past like, <sighs> like <laughs> the size of it, um, I think that's like grabs him by the shirt and then just like, <sighs> like sort of flat on his stomach kind of thing um cool. some down a bit <laughs> yeah and i think uh awesome awesome possum and uh rona who's your old cutter buddy like steps over him like you've got him she just steps over him and like puts herself in a position so that if the other two wake up she can jack them up I think she Maya. Just, oh, yeah. She just folds her arms, and uh, on the way over, I think she was like, "This jacket looks so good on me." <laughs> I mean, I make this shit look really good. <laughs> yes, you do. I won't quip about how like there might be a position vacant. <laughs> 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 um, yeah. So <laughs> Finn's on the ground, and he's he's kind of moaning, and and what's going on? Uh, so Maya, you're better than me at this. I don't know if you want to like clock the room and see if they have anything other than spark here. In particular, obviously, I'm looking for ghoul. Oh, um, that's a cool. Yeah, I will totally do that. Like, well, she's, uh, I guess, probably she's probably got like an elbow in his back or something like that just to keep him yeah. down. And then, like, we sort of get that sort of sort of crouched over gaze across the room as like she surveils it with her very like glowy purple eyes. Cool. I will make a fortune roll and just see. Okay. Uh, what is my position? Oh, no, no, no. I I'm oh. just going to make a roll to see if he has gear. Oh, I'm, I just, see. I'm curious. I don't think he does. But the dice may betray you. The dice may be weird. Yeah, no, he no. does not. Um. Yeah, no, no it's just a bunch of spark. It's I a bunch I, of spark uh, and, and like one coin. I think I'm totally gonna give him give him give him a little bit of a shakedown, right? Like I'm gonna be like, hey buddy, and then I'm I'm gonna like kneel down and tilt my head so that like we're you know <laughs> parallel. I'm gonna be like, so where the street is, you're moving some product. That sounds like the hanged man. Does he does he have the tattoo? Oh totally. Yeah. Is it is it new or is it like oh, it's healed? it's still got like wrapping on it. Uh, cool. It's so then I say, like, you know, where on the street is the hangman are moving some pretty interesting shit. And it's stuff that's come up right in the middle of my investigation. I'm like, you wouldn't happen to be a... And then I poke it. And I go, like, hanged man, would you? Oh, <laughs> nice. Uh, Ow! And I think we should start a clock. Okay, cool. Uh, what kind of clock? Uh, how big? Uh-huh. How hard do you think he is to convince? So Finn spills everything. Okay. Uh, oh man, this poor kid, this poor dumb child. <laughs> I feel no mer mercy for him. I think it's a four-point clock. Okay. And I think I think there's one clicked off from the from the crit. 
All right, that sounds good. Uh, cool. And that's like your greater effect from yeah, the yeah. engagement. What I... what what investigation? How did we how did we end up on anyone's radar? I uh I can't give him a look and I say uh word in the street is you're moving some shit called ghoul. And I I I list it's like I'm like you may have also heard it called and I list like it's aliases like ghost shit or like what the what the hell is the other one ghast. Um the the, the 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 hanged men haven't gotten any of that. Really? Uh Maya, you wanna do do your investigative stuff, see if he's a lion? Yeah, totally. Totally, totally. Um <clears throat> I don't know that my observe is that good. Oh, I can observe him see if, yeah. Um I So do you wanna just be like watching him while while she's talking to him? Uh, yeah, yeah. I mean, like, the two of us are right next to him. Rona's got the people at the table handled. I don't think we've we've got a lot of trouble. Unless somebody with, like, two six-shooter pops out of the shadows, we're, we're probably yeah. okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I think, like... Ooh, I think, yeah, they've got, uh, they're set up in a boarded-up shop that is within distance of the old gallows where they used to hang witches when hanging witches was a thing. Um, hang, hence the, the, oh, total see, see. Metal, the totally metal name. Uh, <laughs> so, yeah, make an, uh, so are you, are you making an observe world? Is that what you're kind of calling? Yeah, see if he's lying. I kind of feel like, you know, if I've, if I've uh, got my hands on him, I can probably feel for his pulse or something or feel some kind of like, uh, science he might be giving off that he's like not telling the truth. He yeah. Didn't lie to oh, shit. Yeah. I never actually added the because i have to manually add it because it's a it's not a it's not a built-in skill but i i have the uh the spider ability to assist somebody up to twice permission without actually spending stress nice uh, so nice. i think i think that is a thing that i'm gonna do we're gonna Excellent. use one of two so let's do that um i'll look it up real quick while you make your roll but i'll assist Perfect. you just by questioning him while you're watching <laughs> and what is my position uh, controlled, great. Okay. Good God. <laughs> Did she crit again? Sorry, I was yeah, just... it was Holy a, it cow. Was crit, it was a crit with your help, so like, we're making a great team. <laughs> I, mean, I know we're a great team, but the dice agree. <laughs> <laughs> so, y you realize he's not lying and he is not going to lie to you and that he is entirely broken as I check off everything on this oh plot. Gosh. It was barely worth writing down in my notebook. Uh, so he was not lying. He like the hanged men haven't moved ghoul and you realize that he's moving when he's dealt with ghoul, it's been on behalf of his family. Mm. Interesting. Uh I mean, do you want to pursue that line of, of conversation? See if you can convince him to tell us where he's getting it, even if it is if it is on behalf of his family, if they have, like, a stash somewhere? Yeah, I think so. And I, I think, like, um, I'll probably squeeze his... I twist his wrist a little bit and maybe appeal to, like, the whole... Look, I can see you've got big plans for this gang. <laughs> and if you come clean, uh, you know, maybe family ties my you know like oh, what's the best? yeah i think i'm gonna yeah i want to lean on like the fact that if he tells us everything we can keep his name out of it and he can continue to hold his like sort of gang thing whatever he's got planned for it and uh we'll be out of his hair cool <laughs> what do you think strash I, he think, says I think i'm gonna write up the case on him anyway but i may use it as like a a special armor against Beaumont Senior when that that shit comes down the pipeline. Oh, nice. Uh, I don't I don't know that I really want the kid. I want the I want the supply. I want the supplier, which may be a right. bigger fish than this. So I guess I'm okay with that. It's a, oh, the, the, that's my fucking dad. My dad is bringing heat on my gang. <laughs> He's a city councilor. He he. Oh, this is so fucking stupid. What's a city councilor's kid doing? 
playing street toughs and doing spark in the middle of a back alley like this a night market i'm um, i'm um, what what's your name kid finn i'm finn finn bowmore well finn our investigation is about the stuff I'm sorry. I think I just stole your spotlight. So Maya, you want to? If you want to take it away, I, I totally. Oh, I, I, I kind of. I I throw it to you, right? I'm just like, investigator here is going to ask you a couple of questions, but we we might uh, we might uh, see what we can. Uh, well, let's put it this way: at least your gang's going to probably be out of it. You yeah, want to talk I'm... to us about about the drug? Yeah, he's still he's still on the floor. He kind of is sitting on his butt, and he looks up at you, Maya. I mean, you're very tall, so he looks way up at you. <laughs> well, what do you what do you want? What, to tell me what you need. We need to know where it's coming from, how it's moving, and who's involved. It's <laughs> my dad had this shit stash from like ten years ago. And, and and it was in an old building that I don't even. It was Which in an old, old building? And I twist his wrist, like hand a little bit more, or poke his. Kid. Somewhere in some some piece of shit shack in Dunslow that we own through intermediaries. So he wanted it moved without his fingerprints on it at all. He said it was dangerous. And who did he use? Me. And. I used the lamp blacks because they needed some coin and it was a good coin mission and everybody knew. And I would, I was going to give him half of it and then sell the other half to the, 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 the lamp blacks, but fucking it all went a, a mess. They all got shot up. Who knew about fucking, this? It, what do you mean? Who knew about it? If the lamp blacks were all shot up after you delivered the shipment, somebody else, you must have told somebody else. I know the Sash has had some of this shit, and uh, they said that they got it through some girl. So who else knows that you're moving this product? Who else knows how you're moving this product? Oh, no. I told Liz, I told Lizette Rowan, her, her dad and my dad were beefing. I was trying to like bring the families back together, get us back together in one page. Yeah, I, I told Lizette, I, I, I told Lizette at a party that, that I was gonna be going to get our family stash. So the right move here, Maya, would be to try and, and take these people in, sort of showcase that the investigation is heading in this direction. But you're the one that gave them your word that we're going to try and keep them out of it. On the other hand, this tells me that Lizette is a hundred times more dangerous than we thought she was. Oh, yeah. Hmm. That's what this shit is all about. The, the McClellans, the, 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 the Rowans, the, us and the Strangfords. You're all feuding about this drug? The Strangfords wouldn't go in on it. They didn't want any piece of it. We were worried they were going to bet they were going to, or my dad was worried that they were going to blackmail us, go right to the emperor. And why so much, why so much effort over the drugs? There are plenty of ways to indulge in this city. <sighs> fucking because... Because, because old people are fucking stupid and they think that this drug is going to make them immortal. That's why. Ridiculous. I know that sounds fucking insane and it sounds like I'm making up an elaborate lie, but that is why. I swear to God, the, 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 the heads of the founding families think that this drug is going to make them immortal. I've never heard such ridiculousness in my life. Hmm. I, th I think I, I stand up and I uh, 
dust myself off and I give Maya the like, how do you want to play the exit from here? Look. Yeah. I mean, mm. I did say I wouldn't bring him in. <laughs> uh, would be a little bit, I don't know, Lauren, Lauren would feel rough doing that. I don't think Maya would feel that rough doing it at home. Could take in one of his gang, but his gang really has nothing to do with it. It's all him. No, you know what? I think I, I think I have a play here. Who? Uh, I think I look at the kid and I say, all right, here's the deal. Traditionally, when people, uh, there's enough spark here that we could throw you behind bars. Then your dad could show up. There could be a whole fiasco. Your gang would get slammed. You yourself would get in trouble. But we talked to you and we said, we're not going to do that. We are going to need a thing from you, though. I'm okay, well, what thing? What thing? Want me to do a job? No, God, no. <laughs> you kidding me, kid? Uh, I look at him like, you know, oh, you got it. I, 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 I give, I give, I give Rona the like, he would only fuck it up look. Um, and then I look back at the kid and I'm like, all right, here's the deal. We're going to write down what you told us and you're just going to put your name to it. And at that point, we're going to let you walk. How's that sound? I eat, what I'm trying to do is fill an evidence box. Right. I want his testimony. Yep. He says, sure, I'll absolutely do that. I feel like that's a job, unless you have something else you want to do, Lauren. No, I think that's good. Okay. Uh, all right. Do we want to do post-job wrap-up real quick? Oh, fortunately, this is a tier zero job, <laughs> which means that we might get one heat, because that kid might be important. Right. Uh, so do we want to... All right, so let's let's look at the, the sheets real quick. Uh somebody have the sheets handy in front of them? I put them somewhere. Oh, I do. Okay. I'll pull them out for Could features. So uh, yes. Blue coat inspector mandate. I think it's the sheet after the mandate, actually. But yeah, so it's like heat uh, after so an operation. Duty. Yeah, there's duty. The, the unit earns two duty per operation by default. If the unit made progress on the mandate, take plus one. You did. If the unit completed a whole row of the mandate, take plus four. Um, you have completed a row, but you didn't do it this time. Okay. Uh, but you've got one row completed. Did we? Uh, if, did we? Did we tinker with that at that point? Do you remember? I did. We did not. No. Okay. So let me add four for that row being complete, and then. Cool. Uh, and then we'll add plus one for this job and plus two for the standardness of this job. All right, cool. cool. Done. Cool, cool. Uh, moving on to heat. After an operation or conflict with an opponent, the unit takes heat equal to double the tier of the highest tier subject involved, add plus one heat. For a high profile or connected target, add plus one heat if the situation happened on hostile turf. Add plus one heat if you're at war. Add two if killing was involved. No killing. I do feel like the kid might be important. That's going to be your call. Mm. Yeah, this is... Because it's not really the tier zero gang. It's really city council. Yeah, except that we're not confronting the city council on their turf. And we're not throwing shade on the city council. If we want to... Yeah. if we want to, Like, this isn't really... This doesn't feel like a city council job to me. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah, yeah. yeah. But yeah. he is important. He is a councilman's son. There is probably enough noise that someone's at least looking in our direction. Right. How do you feel about that? I, I'm i just going to add one to the tier of the tier zero and say okay. that that means it's two. All right, cool. That sounds good. Uh, so it would be two by base and plus one for him being important or just... Yeah. Okay. And then yeah. uh, I don't know if we were on hostile ground. We were in night market, which isn't our turf, but I don't think it's hostile ground. Okay, uh, it is technically their turf, which you know technically could be hostile, but yeah, it just didn't feel like. Okay. <laughs> yeah, uh, they the, the they doing drugs did most of our work for us. <laughs> uh, all right, cool. Critting on the engagement role, yeah, that'll right. do it. Uh, cool. So we're at one, two, three, four, five heat, still on pressure. All right, that's cool. Um, what's next up? Uh, paperwork and entanglements. 
Before entanglements, deal with paperwork. Blow off your paperwork and take plus one D to one of your downtime rolls or write your reports and choose what you say. What actually happened? Cover the cover for the blue, throw someone under the bus. If any number of unit members blow off their paperwork, add one heat. Question is, uh, by saying what actually happened, does that include like, oh, I got my friend and then we got them a uniform and we, we, we took them in and it was fine. I, I think we, 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 we can cover for the blue in the sense that we talk about a actual hawkers gang that was moving drugs that we heard may have been involved with ghoul. We went over there with some local backup. That's all I'm going to say about Rona. <laughs> and uh, we, we, you know, kicked in a door. There was no actual massive physical altercation. No one was injured. Um, we obtained some evidence. And that's that's pretty much what my paperwork's going to say. Uh, yeah, I think I think it would make sense for my story to align with that. Uh, yeah. So I guess we do paperwork, Judd. Yeah. Cool. Cool. Uh, but we're going to have to roll for that entanglement. Uh, do you want to roll? Are you kind of leaving his name out of it until I, you I, finally... I, I think we named the gang. So we say that like we confronted the hanged man, right? But like, mm -hmm. I think uh, the leader of the gang, does he have a street name that he's trying to push? Star Lord, man. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> oh, my God. Uh Oh my God, uh, Night Lord. Yeah, great. Yeah, we talked to the gang leader, Night Lord. Uh, that's that's definitely going in the report. Because uh, our our because our, our thing is a night night market, guys. You get it? You get it? Oh, oh Night man. Lord. Who? Uh, yeah, excellent. Uh, so yes, Night Lord, Night Lord, there uh, is is gonna is gonna make it via via moniker into the. As uh, into the report. Yeah, as as he who is pale said in the chat, this kid is not the deepest Leviathan in the ocean. <laughs> <So>. <laughs> True facts. So, uh, so yeah, yeah, I think it's. I think we don't light a fire and talk about stuff, but we can say that we got a lead on where some of the ghost, uh, you know, the gas supply may have been coming from. And that's cool. uh, all I say is like, we need to confirm that it's going to take further investigation. It might be a while before we can follow that lead, which is all true. I just don't mention the whys. Uh, so. Right. Right. Awesome. Uh, cool. Uh, shall we, shall we roll the entanglements? Do you yes. want to just to throw a die or? I believe uh, we're I at can do it. I can do it. Red. We're it, at four or a... we're at four or five heat, so it's just one d six. Okay. And what's our pressure? Pressure is one. Yeah. So we roll. So. We roll one d six, and we take whatever we get. Okay. Um. Do I just make a fortune roll? Yeah. Uh, it's it's just a fortune roll of one die. It's whatever it comes up. One to three, we're gonna get bad weather or community. Four to five, we're going to get clean code or exposed. And on a six, we're going to get marked or reprisals. <coughs> Pretty unlucky on these, but can't rain all the time. Three. Well, that's real good, right? Uh, so that's... Oop, I just clicked the wrong thing. One second. Uh, cool. I know exactly what happens. Tell us. Nice. All right. Uh... You're all filling out paperwork over the next couple of days. And Vond McClellan sends word to you that he's got a uh, a couple of his uh, officers have have found a big hall and they they want to turn it over to you. Vaughn McClellan. Oh, this is so bad. <laughs> This is so bad. Cool, cool. Yeah, yeah, that can't be bad. No, uh, no, no. All right, so this is, I think the situation is the clean code, right? Uh, so if we if we take a cut of a score in exchange for looking the other way, we take one, one coin and one heat. If we refuse, we're going to take minus one status. Uh, having bad status with blue coats is rough. Yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. But I don't, here, here's the problem. This is what gets us. 
We we can't take this cut. If we take this cut, our case is going to fall apart once we're done. Yeah. Uh So so I don't know. How do you how do you want to play this? My do, um, you, have a, do you have better advice cuz I I don't. Oh god. Um Oh god. <laughs> what are you going to say? Oh, I don't Oh, I I, um. I I don't want to, right? Because I know this man's a snake. On the other hand, the mastermind play, the 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 true good crook would would take the money and like bookmark it so that it just looks like it was misfiled. Like if Mrs. Daphne could make it disappear so it looks like we're on the take, but we're not actually, that would be mm -hmm. that would be ideal. Uh, but yeah, that that would probably require rolls. So we should we should talk about whether we want to attempt that or if we want to. Take it, and that means that McClellan has dirt on us, which means that if we complete the case, he can call into question our integrity and our investigation methods, and he's going to bury us. Or we could not take it, in which case all the blue coats are going to look at us askance, right? Because we're clearly not on the take. We're the uh, uh, we're the Commissioner Gordons of this this particular town. Mm, yeah, totally. He he sends a follow up message while you guys are talking about it. <laughs> Literally, like, thump, it comes down the pneumatic tube. You guys, like, look at it, and you're like, oh, man, I don't know if we can take this. we got to talk about it. And then, like, it's not, it's not like email or, like, texting. Like, he should have waited, like, a couple of hours at least before he sent a follow-up. And, like, 15 minutes later, thump, while you were, <laughs> while you were discussing it, another one comes. And he was like, just to be clear, what I found is two, two crates of pure ghoul. I want to turn it over to you because your case is involved with ghoul. Okay. <laughs> I'm really, really, really confused as to where this game is going. Yeah, this is so fascinating. Uh, I say we take it and we log all of it, but we're going to have to have a conversation with this dude. Yeah. 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 Awesome. Do you awesome. Yeah. Take, do you want to take front on this? Because I talked to this man not too long ago, and it was under very different circumstances. I was a little hot under the collar, and I was a little extra angry because he had ordered my friends swept from the streets. So there could be. I I don't actually know what's going on. I don't know if you want to take the take the lead on this. Yeah, I could take the lead. That's like I can ask him some questions, that kind of thing. All right. So Holy I think so, Judd. But by the t we're going to be done with the entanglement probably after the scene, but just to let you know, at least the intention is to take it, but to log all of it and not be on the take, which means that we're probably going to end up with minus one status, but we got to, we got to connect some dots first. So, okay. Uh, all right, Lauren, do you want to, uh, do we just pick up the scene when we walk into McClellan's office in Charter Hall? I think so. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah. Um, actually, what's, the, what's he, McClellan Jr.'s first name? Uh, his first name is Vond, V O N D. Okay. Sorry, I'm going to cross that name off. Bump. Cool. Oh, you can cross Weaver off too. Bump. Cool. He he doesn't meet you in his office. He meets you under a bridge near Giant Park, where the drug bust, where the drugs were found. Is the oh. weather appropriately gloomy? Like oh, uh... totally. It's raining. <laughs> there's police tape everywhere. Uh, there yeah. There's there's blue coat tape, blue tape everywhere, and. Uh, And, and people are ushering other folks away. They're turning around uh, gondoliers huh. so they don't go through this area. Uh, it's another bridge, which is like a throwback to the first app. Yeah. Mm. And he says, uh, he says, uh, Inspector, in Investigator uh, Manatui. I'm, I'm sorry. <laughs> Continue. I'm precinct chief. I'm precinct chief. Woo! I messed that word up. Precinct chief, Vond McClellan. 
Uh, we have some things in that we, we found some things that are that pertain to your case. And uh, Maya Tui, I think like pops her collar up when there's a particularly brisk, cold, like wet wind at her neck. Yeah. Um, and she, I think she cocks an eyebrow at Vond and says like, um, I have to say I'm rather impressed. Uh, our lead so far had indicated that uh, Will was drying up, but two cases. Yeah, it's a big surprise. It's a big break. Pure ghoul, you say? Well, it's pure, uncut, untouched. He leads you under the under the bridge, and like so that really, like the two of you are alone, and there is someone in a gondola, not like a gondolier, like a member of the faction, the gondoliers, but someone who does push a gondola, uh, dead shot. There's someone else on the side of the bridge who clearly they're trying to say ambush this person. And then in the gondola are two crates of ghoul sitting there like, like gifts manna from heaven. And he kneels by them and opens them for you so you can see that they're all there. And he says, I'm sure there are rumors going around, all kinds of rumors about this drug and how it could be used. And I know that in your last report, you dealt with the hanged men and who knows what they said. And it might come to be that very powerful families end up in possession of ghoul. The drug problem is pervasive. But I hope this assures you and anyone you report to that the McClellan family has nothing to do with this shit. Mm. I think Maya does that thing of like dips her finger a little bit in the ghoul and like rubs a bit between her fingers and then like looks um, up at McClellan and says, mm, I had heard stories that a uh, crime's immortality, but what ridiculousness would that be? Total, the... Totally ridiculous. Oh, indeed. Preposterous. I think she's sort of like dusts her fingers free of like the ghoul and then like sort of slowly stands up. And oh, yeah. Looks like a street deal gone bad to me. Uh, you know, perp one is buying some drugs, Perp 2 is selling them. Uh, both guns go off and they kill each other. Isn't that right, Thena? And uh, Thena is is a, a blue coat. Um, <laughs> We've met her before. This is the one yeah. I had the altercation with. <laughs> yeah. And like, she's like, you know, on the perimeter and she's like, that's what happened. I saw it all. <laughs> Did. And um, I think Maya fixes like a very unreadable look at McClelland uh, and says, so it would seem on, you know, so it would seem this doesn't need to appear to be a, a drug exchange gone wrong. And um, it is fortunate that you came across it. I'm just doing my duty, investigator. It's one of those uh, street tragedies. Mm -hmm. Any idea who these pups are? No. Do you want to? Yeah, I, I was. I was gonna say, can we either a? Yeah, I think. Uh, uh, am I present, or did they go under the bridge such that I am not present? Uh, well, you can show up a little late, but because you haven't been there up until now, so let's cool. just say that you're. Is that cool? Uh, Strash, you cool with that? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm absolutely cool with that. The other, okay. the other option is, uh, do you think you could convince them to give us the bodies? Oh yeah, I was typically going to ask about that. Yeah, yeah. I, I don't, I don't need anything else. I just, I don't know if we can grab the bodies because we can examine them and figure out who they are. Outside of this scene, we don't need to 
tell him the whys. Dina yeah. says, if you want to do the spirit ward paperwork, you got it. Of course, uh, we must follow every lead thoroughly to get to the bottom of this tragedy. Cool. Anything cool. else, McQuillan? Anything else, McQuillan? No, that's it. Uh, I'm glad we could help. Good luck with your investigation. I thank you. I very much appreciate your help. Have a oh, safe and pleasant evening. You too. I think my tips are hat. <laughs> this is how we. This is this. This is this is where we get our our, our bad status. Is because they handed us something on a silver platter, and all we have to do is write the paperwork that says that they did. But mm -hmm. of course, what we're gonna do is. Uh, do you wanna do you wanna investigate the bodies? See if you can piece together who they are. Or do I need to get my buddy that can talk to the ghosts? Ooh. Oh, we could do both. We could try to do both. So I, how can I possibly put the opportunity to talk to ghosts? Uh, uh, cool. Jed, is uh, that you're, cool? You're call yeah, you're calling Hopper. Yeah, we're gonna have Hopper do the same the same trick that he did last time. Before he does though, I wanna I wanna double check the bodies, right? Because like there there are two things that I'm worried about. The first thing that I'm worried about is I want to see if there's like tattoos, gang signs, you know, things like that, if I can identify them, if they look like, you know, lamp blacks or something, right? Like, yeah. the other thing I'm worried about is, uh, <laughs> he could pull the ghosts out and they could be very, very angry. If they know that we question ghosts, this could be a trap. <laughs> <Ooh>. <laughs> but, uh, I guess that's a thing. <laughs> so. Yeah. And there, there's been no evidence that they know that you question ghosts. No, no, and we've been really quiet. We only did it once, and we did it in between when the bodies left the crime scene and before they were rightfully brought to the morgue and then handed off to the spirit wardens. Yeah. So yeah, uh, yeah. it was it was a very brief detour, and I think we're probably gonna pull the same trick, right? Like we're just mm -hmm. gonna be like whoop whoop, and so. Uh, yeah. uh, Hopper is totally psyched to, to do it again. <laughs> uh, I I I I they could be nobodies, right? Like they could be people that this guy didn't like that he just happened to get murdered in order to stage a scene or they could be gang members that have stories opera's like i dig it here you put this tube in his neck and i'll put this tube in mine you know the deal all right hey, when rona helps you she gets to wear a cool jacket i'm just i'm not saying that it's messed up but it's kind of messed up <laughs> puts the tube in his neck <laughs> i'm gonna have to buy this boy a cool jacket <laughs> all right uh Awesome. Do, do we want to, do we want to make, do you want to make a fortune roll? See how it goes. Do you want us to, to roll some question to question them? Yeah, I'm going to make a fortune roll. I think whenever you got ghosts involved, you should make a, some kind of roll. I, I agree. Mm -hmm. How good is Hopper at ghosts? Um, I'm going to say he's two dice good. When in doubt. Hey, he is real good. Cool. Nice. Boy is solid. Knows his ghost shit. Uh, my, cool. All right. So what what is this what does this conversation look like? Yeah the 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 light the light of uh like the the ghost fills that one tube and then you watch it transfer over into the other tube and it fills up and then it like injects itself into Hopper and then you get that that blue unearthly ghost light coming out of his eyes and mouth and the ghost says did i get him did you get who i think i my is quite close to like hopper like with their own purple eyes like meeting these like ghostly blue ones did i uh i'm trying to get two names did i get tackle What gang does... right now. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I was just gonna say, what gang does Tackle belong to? Mm. <laughs> what gang has he belonged to? Tackle's been kicked out of every gang in the city. He, he's belonged to some gangs that don't exist no more. Do you wanna do you wanna ask him about the drugs? Yeah, let's let's yeah. I, what, 
Am I dead? Yes. Shit. Is Tackle dead? Uh, if Tackle is the one, no. Uh, you were I, meeting? Yeah. Yes. I showed Under the, the body, bridge. actually. Is this yeah, Tackle? He lo- yeah, he looks at it. That's him. And yes, Tackle is dead. Well then. Wasn't all a fucking loss then. Why did you why did you want to get him? You owe me money. Money? Yeah. You owe me How money. He, he names like an insultingly paltry amount of, of, of penny. Like it's like it's like a quarter of a month's rent in a really shitty part of town. Like it's, I, I it's think my just she just like scoff a little bit and say like, why would you want that me like me or some when you had a boat of ghoul with you? What? A boat of what? Ooh, ghost shit, ghost. I don't deal drugs, I'm not a hawker. We found drugs upon your person, piddling them down the river. No, nah. no, I, 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 I was been looking for tackle for a while, and that tall blue coat, what's her name? The Amazon. She told me where he was, so I went and shot him. But it seemed like he was ready for me. She may have told him where you were too. Fuck. Sounds like a sit up to me. Wait, she's lying. So she told you I had ghoul. She had a whole boat of it sitting right next to your bodies. Very convenient, <laughs> like. I show him the pile because we still haven't made it to the precinct. I've never seen that shit before in my life. I I, I, I swear on my own eyes. And he points to his own eyes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, this smells like McClellan, but I don't know who he's, who's trying to clean their hands. I mean, it's a, it's a good setup. We're, we're, we're taking it. It's just, it's all lies. Mm-hmm. What do you want to do here? Oh, I, I just want to hang out, maybe get a drink before I go, you know? He, he totally thinks you're talking to him. Like, he's just like, <laughs> one last drink. I start, I, I pull out a flask. I start unscrewing it. I'm going to use the, the lid as like a little sippy, like a little shot glass. Yeah. Uh, but I'm like... But I am looking at Maya like, this is a dead end. They set this up pretty well. Indeed. You helped us out, buddy. I'm like, here you go. He takes a sip. He's like, I can barely taste it. I mean, I just want to. And then like Hopper turns it off. Yeah. Like, and, and The timer clicks. <laughs> yeah. Deactivates. I catch the glass. Until, uh. I tell Harper, he keeps doing a job like this, he's going to get a fancy coat. (laughs) (laughs) A fancy coat coat with a a grinning raven on it? Mm -hmm. Careful. Uh I I, I point at the guy that's dead, and I'm like, it's a little risky to be on the streets these days. Maybe someday. (laughs) You don't want to go advertising. Not yet. Not yet. That's that's what I'm talking about. All right, ladies. Uh, I think we're good. Yeah. Cool. Let's, let's, uh, what else do we have to do? Entanglements, downtime. Or no, uh, faction statuses, local trade clocks. Uh, uh, just one question before we, we jump right into that. Do you want to talk yeah. to, uh, I keep wanting to call her Dusa, uh, Daphne and see if she wants oh, to yeah. stash some ghoul or do you want to just log it straight and let it ride? It would be handy to have some, like, just to, just in case we need some. Um, well, I mean, we have to take some out for the Lizette investigation anyway, but I want to do that yes. properly. I don't ah, know if right, either right. one of us has whatever the paperwork skill is. There is an actual paperwork skill. <laughs> uh, it's uh, 
uh, not test testify, testify like report maybe. yeah yeah testify is the paperwork skill i don't know if we want to just like do an actual like if we, if we want to just procure some because like technically it's part of our investigation we can just take some we just can't take it illegally mm, and i'm not talking yeah. about moving like bricks of it i'm talking about moving just like a little bit of it so let's let's talk about Gwen what it looks like a little bit i picture yeah. each crate has uh vials that are about seven inches long and oh, uh and uh you know um you know as wide as like a coffee cup and uh they they go into little slots in the crate um so like when you put your finger in it you probably like took the stopper out and like put your finger in a little bit and it is kind of glutinous it's, yeah yeah um and it, it it probably whereas the ghost glow blue this stuff is probably like a deep dark green um and it kind of kind of swirls in like green and black it's, it was red but yeah it's definitely like a different special effect type than the ghost spectral stuff cool how much is usually taken like do you just uh, like chug a vial do you do like a, a, like a spoonful like is a vial good for like an entire party what's what's the what's the quantity that we're talking about here yeah that's a great question um i think a vial would last a very up like a vial would last a very long time like a little bit ingested will like take you out of your body what's usually or, what's it usually cut like, with uh what they call like uh barrel scum which is like uh oh good <laughs> yeah uh it's it's just a a docker name for like dregs leviathan blood that like is chipped out of barrels and 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 the inside of ships uh sailors often sell it because like you can still use it for some alchemical stuff and you can still cut it with certain things and you know it's leviathan's blood it's pretty powerful and potent but it this is really shitty leviathan's blood okay so maya uh do you want to do like the lizette so we're about to hit downtimes and we can talk about what we want to do during downtimes but yeah. like do you want to see if we can take some portion of some vial and we can like mark it on the actual vial um take it to the Lizette thing, like take a little bit out, cut it possibly with something a little bit better than that pond scum. <laughs> um, and, uh, yeah, we can, we can, we can head down that lane if you'd like. Yeah, I think, I think so. That, that uh, like, we're going to have to talk to Lizette at some point. It sounds like quite a crucial piece of, of how it's moving anyway. Yeah. All right. Let's do the do. All right, cool. So that was entanglements. Um, I think we log everything. We don't necessarily take a cut. Uh, so I think I think we are going to take that negative status, as it were. Uh, what's the um, what's the next step? Uh, faction statuses and local traits trait clocks. Um, minus one with the spirit wardens if anyone was killed, but no one was on your watch. Uh, minus one status with faction hurt by the killing. Again, nothing. Plus one status. Uh, there was none. Uh, and I think you didn't make any arrests. So I think the nope. factions are all the same. Yep. And I don't think any local trait. Well, crime. Crime is the only local trait that may have gone up. Right. But I don't really <laughs> think so because like the criminals were helping our blue coats. Right. I, so. I think I think things stayed pretty status quo on that. All right. So shall we just dive into downtimes? Let's dive into some downtime. Excellent. I know I need to vice with one of my actions, and I'm going to do some personal training with one of my actions. Um, and I, I have a third action, and here's the thing. One of us needs to do some heat reduction, which would be good. And mm. we need to start that investigation into the spirit wardens. Plus, I have a bunch of long-term clocks I'm working on. So, uh, 
Uh, what order do you want to do this in? Uh, I know, like, what do you, what actions do you want to take? Oh yeah, well, my stress is good. I have two out of four on a reduced pressure clock, so it would be good to chip away at that, I think. Um, training would be nice, but I can also pick up, like, uh, some of the other projects for our Spirit Warden stuff and that kind of thing. Okay. Flex flexing our muscles on, on figuring out who the hell a, a Spirit Warden is is pretty important. Um... Did you give us a clock size for that, Judd? I mean, uh, it, I don't. I don't expect it to be easy. I just. Yeah. I don't. I don't. I don't remember if we actually talked that through or not. I don't think we did. You don't think we did? I don't, I don't think, think we did so. either. Yeah, I mean, we yeah. mentioned it, but <laughs> that hadn't uh, begun our approach. I'm gonna say it is an eight and a four. Okay. Talk to us. Uh, uh, I I feel like the four clock is just like watching the spirit warden's crematorium and like finding an inn. You know what I mean? Like it's kind of unprecedented. So I feel like the four clock is just like watching them, stacking them out, staking them out a little bit and trying to figure out how to find a weak point. And then the eight clock is like, all right, starting to get to work and really like do some investigation around that, that weak point and, and find out who that person is and, and, how to get to them when their mask is off. All right, so I don't think that we're gonna stock out the crematorium. I have, a okay. the four o'clock is fine. Um, yeah. Because it's still it's still an appropriate question, right? Because I think what we're looking for is moments of murder, right? Because like okay. murder happens in Dosqual, it does. And like whenever it does, there's that bell and the crow flies out from the crematorium and then it does the circle around where the, the body is. Cool. Um, and not too long thereafter, the spirit wardens will show up in order to fetch the bodies because they got to de-ghost them and all that stuff. Um, and I think that what I... So remember that spirit wardens actually have day-to-day -day lives. They just put on the masks when they're performing their duties. And so, like, what I want to do is... That four clock sounds fine, but what I'd like to do is, like, clock how long it takes for spirit wardens to show up. Right? Like, just go hang around some of the areas where, like, Red Sashes and uh, Land Blacks are, are fighting. Because eventually oh. someone's gonna die. And then just right. see. So, like, if somebody shows up within five minutes, there's a certain radius they would have had to have been within. Right? And so what you do is you just keep drawing these circles until they overlap enough. Until you can find, like, the regions where these people are. And see if you can find a region where at least one or two people would have been at the same time. And then start trying to deduce from there. So I think that your yeah. argument that it's an eight plus a four is actually a good call. I mean, not that okay. you know, it's my job to judge that, but uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. the but I I, th I think I think the approach may be just slightly different because like no, that's awesome, that's awesome. I, when you said like talk to me, I was like, oh, I don't know, like good, good. I rather I would rather you make came up that approach. I, I'm awesome. I'm I'm cool. Really so let that. me. Let me do, uh, I'm going to make two clocks on our mandate. Uh, cool. The first one's going to be called uh, tracking deaths. And I'm going to put a zero out of four on there. And the second cool. one is going to be uh, naming a spirit warden. Cool. And I'm going to put zero out of eight there. All right, cool. Cool, cool, cool. Okay, whoa. That's a... How did that do the thing, huh? Indeed. Whoa. Uh, I may have put that on my sheet. I'm sorry. That's fine. I, I, I can track it for now, even if other people are okay. rolling. No problem. Cool. I can, I can co-track it on mine, too, if that All helps. Right, awesome. Uh, modify, maybe. Uh, done. 
I wonder if I change this to put zero out of four parentheses if it's gonna spawn a clock like that. Nope. No, I didn't. All right. For some reason, there's a there's a clock on 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 one of these, and I oh wow. All right, pie slices do fill. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All right. So there's only one clock, but it's a twelve clock. So I think we're just gonna do. Yeah. All of awesome. the all of the ninjiness on it there. So we'll yeah. Just go with that. All right. Um. Cool. 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 Uh. Brad, so how do you want to do downtime, Maya? Because we've done zero so far. Ooh, uh, you have so many. Would you like to kick us off? <laughs> Would I like to kick us? Yeah. Um, I think I go vicing. And nice. uh, if you recall, my vice is obligation, and so uh, I think that my obligation is to my previous gang mates. And usually, Rona and I are sparring, or we're like, I'm, I'm, coaching her, working with her through like a fight. Uh, but I think it's a different one. I think uh, it's a scene of Rona and me in that tailor shop that I introduced uh, uh, Maya to, and we're getting uh, we're getting uh, my friend a coat. Uh, that's how I'm taking care of my gang this time. Is I'm, I'm you know things are not bad, so I'm I'm trying to have some good times before you know anything else goes awry. How's that sound, Jed? Sounds awesome. Uh, Very sweet. Cool. Well, I am vicing with some friends, so I'm going to roll some dice, if that's okay. Yes, And then if you do. want to play out anything from that scene, you let me know. Yeah. Let's see uh, Let's see how the die roll goes, and we'll play off that. Uh, where's my indulge vice? Boop. And it's going to be bonus dice one. Boop. Oh, I go to zero. <laughs> that was real close. <laughs> Uh, one more, and, and, I, and I would have overindulged. <laughs> uh, all right, cool. Uh, so is it like, uh, is, is, it, is it both of them? Is it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Rona and I are picking out the clothes and, and, and sort of uh, good-naturedly ribbing, uh, uh, what the hell is his name? Hopper. And, yeah. uh, in, in, and, you know, Hopper's probably like on a stand getting, getting fitted into this like nice, nice looking trench coat. And it's like got that like, Victorian like button over like big flap thing going on. Uh so yeah, I'm getting I'm getting him a nice coat. Cool. It's uh vaguely reminiscent of blue coat. It's obviously not a blue coat and it's right. but it's it's that that like ballpark ish. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's got like a military cut to it. Yeah. Yeah. Uh fantastic. Yeah, he says this investigative stuff is going pretty well for you, huh? Do I lie to my gang? Uh... Yeah, I, I, I think let's let's play this game. I don't know which one of them knows me better than the other. I think one of them will probably notice that I'm lying, and uh, but I I straight up tell Hopper, and I'm just like, uh, it's it, it, I I say, uh, well, it's going good today, and and it's my my sad way of saying like I don't know where I'm gonna end up at the end of this. It's probably not gonna be a good place, and and so like. You know, now that we still are alive and mostly healthy, uh, you know, we're we're doing doing the good stuff. Like we're we're, I'm trying to have some good times with my friends while while everything is not the worst. Cool. Uh, yeah, Hopper Hopper eats that up. Oh, Hopper! Absolutely. Curse Absolutely. Oh, and yeah. Rona, not Rona, Rona eats it up too. They both, they both do. Okay. Yeah. They're cool. both like, all right, all right. Today is today is good, and I think the the tailor like brings you all uh, some drinks, and and you all like clink glasses, and say you know because today is good. All right, sounds good. That's it for me. Cool. Awesome. Is there like a thing where you like look outside the window and like, you know, while they're like laughing and joking and like look real grim, like this is not going to go well. <laughs> no, actually, I, th I think I think it's it's probably the like one of the only times that that 
smile actually reaches Drav's eyes, right? Like, I am actually awesome. relaxed. I'm hanging with my friends. We're doing stupid friends shit. Uh, cool. I think he's actually letting himself enjoy this because, you know, eat, drink, be merry for tomorrow we die kind of nonsense. So, yeah. Yeah, yeah I think, I think it, it may, be, may be the first time he's he's not actually doing that. So Cool. Cool. Lauren, what's, uh, what's Matatui up to? Oh my gosh, what am I not, not up to? Um, uh, I would be remiss if I didn't try to reduce a bit more pressure, I think. Okay. Cool. It could still knock it off, I reckon. Yeah. yeah. Um, How do you want to do that? Yeah, I wonder if this is just taking advantage of the bad lead McClellan gave us. Because um, we've got a lot sort of like on record and on paper saying like, uh, was this you know like some local gang stuff some yeah tickle or tackle or whatever his name was just notorious uh as i'm going from gang to gang like it's it's all just petty stuff <laughs> um, i don't know if that's through like the our journalist friend or whatever i did promise our journalist friend i would give him something um right yeah I'm just trying to like think how this is gonna, how this stuff is like. Do you want to go to the McClellan family and like talk to them about giving you some space? Ooh. I mean, you, you've got like the commander of the watch <laughs> on, your, on your sheet. You could literally go to him and like go to his office and talk to him. Yeah, that sounds that sounds like a more sensible like a plan of attack. Yeah, I, I think cool. we're, I'm giving either of the McClellans to be like, yep, we looked into it. It's gang stuff. Like, just leave it with us. Um, or uh, the command of the watch either is what would be more fun. Oh <laughs> uh, yeah, let's 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 you um well first make a roll. Let's okay. see. Okay, this what is this? Depends on what you're using. Yeah. Um. It's going to be a fortune roll no matter this what, is, I think. But. I feel like this is almost like a testify kind of roll, like sort of re just reporting. Cool. Yeah. Yeah. Sounds good. Trying to, trying to be as banal as possible. <laughs> uh, cool, cool. Six. Oh, I got a cool. six. Uh, oh, cool. Cool. Mark off the mark off. What is it? Two on the clock. Uh, yes. Three. Yeah, which, which fills the clock. Awesome. So we re, re, get rid of yeah, that. So, uh, yeah. Uh, McClellan is a uh, stocky man with a big walrus mustache. It's brown and going to gray, and he's bald up top. And uh, he says. Uh, Vaughn gave you that uh that tip. I think I said it like, evidence? yeah, I like put the report down. The the one that was sort of, oh, did we report this? We didn't report this. Uh, it didn't, yes, uh, Vaughn was very helpful and very forthcoming with information regarding uh, a recent. Good, 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 good. Great exchange. You've got all the resources you need to carry your 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 investigation. <laughs> yes, it is really just a uh, petty case of petty gangs. I think I can handle it. Excellent. Excellent. I'm glad to hear that. I'm glad to hear that. And how is my no good son-in-law doing? Uh, Clave. Clave Helker. The eel. I, uh, I, I believe Clave is taking to the job like an uh, eel to the river. Oh, it's good to hear. I was worried that there was some tension there. Uh, whenever there is uh, any new introduction to any structure, there is inevitably some teething problems, but I, I think we've all found some way to uh, to be cordial. Yeah, he smiles. That's wonderful to hear, my Tui. Wonderful to hear. Indeed. Congratulations. I'm sure this investigation will be a smashing success. Oh, I am very Good confident. For Good for you. Thank you, Thank sir. You. Thank you for stopping by. I hope... If there's anything else I can do for you. He like walks you to the door of the office. Oh, I, I, I appreciate the offer very much. Thank you. Good I think day. This, this angle you've got now into the lamp blacks and the red sash is solid. I think so too. 
All right. I, uh, I'm glad we're uh, of the same opinion. Take care. Good luck. <laughs> awesome. Head tip. Leave. <laughs> cool. Yeah, and the, the pressure is alleviated a bit, yeah? Yeah. Uh, do you have to roll? I forget. You I sure? already did roll. Never yeah. mind. The testified took care of it. Yeah. yeah. All right, so does our pressure go down by one? Is that the... It does. Yeah. Cool. So we're back to zero pressure, which is real good for us. Um, I have a question. Do you need to do stress relief, Maya? I I have to stress, so I'm this okay. probably very dangerous. Would you be willing to spend an action to reduce heat? Yes, yes, we need to do that, don't we? Okay. Uh, do you want me to jump in with a scene? I actually have a, yeah. a funny question for Judd. So, yeah. Judd, uh, I have harm, uh, which I just discovered, which is uh, something that I need to get rid of. Uh, and the particular harm that I have is afraid. And mm. I just want to ask if uh, that scene with my friends and relating to my friends is uh, enough for me to become unafraid, to, to relax a bit more and, and have that knot about losing my job and ending up in a ditch maybe unravel just a tiny bit. Yeah, and I think the, the afraid was more about losing who you were in the undercover work. So I think, yeah, that totally fits. Cool. Aww. So I'm gonna I'm gonna roll a, a relate to recover here. Cool. And there we go. Boop. Hey, I got two ticks, which is all I need, which means that my awesome. clock clears and my afraid goes away. Fantastic. I guess I remember who I am. Uh, I'm glad that was a real smile on Draw's face. That's nice to see. Uh, Maya, do you wanna do you wanna go or do you want me to tackle another? Uh, I can reduce some heat. I, I feel like um, the Take it scene away. I have in mind anyway is you yeah. know just like shooting the ship with Clave after having spoken to his father-in-law and uh, yeah. just trying to be chummy. <laughs> And, you know, sort of casually mentioned, like, yeah, you're right. Like, it was all this, again, petty gang stuff. Um, we were, you know, uh, Drav and I are following that lead. You, your father-in-law seems to think it's a good idea. Yeah. I mean, it always is petty gang stuff. It just always is. Crazy. You have quite the uh, nose for this stuff, Clave. Thank you. It's nice to hear you say that. Hey, so what do you m miss most about being out with the Sarasi people, the food, the 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 men, the women, the 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 dancing, the stories. What is it? Oh, I feel like all of the above. The f I never did quite acquire a taste for uh, the the cuisine within the city walls. Uh, mm. So the food, huh? That and of course um, friends and family. Uh, back home. Yeah. Yeah. What are you doing right now? Oh, um, nothing much. I was perhaps going to treat myself to uh, some curried eel. Come on. I, I, I know a place. Oh, you do? And uh, yeah, he says, come on, let's, let's, let's get out of here. Uh, of course. That sounds delightful, Clave. I would very much appreciate spending more time in your company. Uh, I feel like... <laughs> <laughs> we have uh, not since had the good fortune to have some downtime together. Yeah, he does not take, he does not understand that that's sarcasm in the fucking flavors. <laughs> what, tell me, Clay, what, what sorts of cuisine do you enjoy? Uh, yeah, he talks about how much, he, like the different types of curried eel in the city and where it's the best. And he takes you to an inn uh, called the Mustang. Oh. And it is, it's Severosian. Uh, and uh, you walk in and like the smells hit you and it's like you're back, back in the Deathlands villages. Like it just, the, the, you can smell the, the spices they're cooking with. Um, there's someone in the corner uh, playing a, uh, a sad song on a violin. That's 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 a song right out of your childhood, and uh, 
and he's like, I can't believe you don't know about this place. You don't know about this place? Oh, this is the best day I've been here. Uh, this place know? is amazing. I eat here all the time. Sephirotians are amazing. You know, their cavalry was a huge part of us winning the Unity War. Do you know that? Indeed. Well, yeah. Uh, My mom served with them. She said they were like these amazing noble savages. Of course. I, uh... He can't be perfect, right? He just can't be. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, I, I am aware of the trick. Ferocious and, uh, and, and full of, you know, patriotism for the emperor. Really, well, you know what's ferocious is my appetite right now. Shall we, uh, shall we enjoy yeah. some curry? <laughs> oh, cool! And I think you eat like the best meal you've had since you've gotten here. Yeah, uh, I think and, at some point. Oh, there's yeah. for sure like some eel like on his chin or something, and I, I tell him he has like some eel on his face, that kind of thing. Yeah. Here. Uh, there. 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 Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> He complains about the pressures of, uh, of, of dealing with the McClellan family, his wife's family, and, and how difficult it is to live up to them and, and blah, 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 blah. Yeah, cool. But it is an amazing meal. And uh, the, so uh, make a roll to reduce heat. Oh, excellent. Do I have to do anything particular for that? Uh, let me take a look at the sheets. I think it's... Uh probably relate based on what we just did right yeah you just roll an action okay <laughs> oh shoot it's gonna i mean there's not gonna be consequences it's just gonna go up less ticks hey jed so. I, I think exploit would also work because the lying was at 11. That's true. oh yeah that's that true, true. <laughs> very true <laughs> it's like everything was a lie. <laughs> yeah, but i feel like i am i am trying to deceive clave a little bit by pretending to be his friend Oh my god. That's very true. I was... Got a five! Cool. Hey, Not that's two, two, two heat, I believe, goes away. Awesome. That was amazing, Jed. Cool, I'm glad you liked it. I'll take off too. <laughs> I've, I'm, I'm on the mandate sheet. Right. Oh, perfect. Cool, we're down to... Down to three. Well, we're gonna get nine <laughs> next time. It's gonna be great. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. Uh, <laughs> uh, cool. As Raj says, cool story. Uh, what else? <laughs> Lauren, maybe you can help me with this. I have a, a project oh, yeah. clock to make Maya a friend on my sheet. That's uh, right. Uh, but I'm, 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 I'm pondering what that looks like, maybe. Mm. <laughs> My first thought is to take you back to that Severosi restaurant to be like, Clave told me about this place. <laughs> like, you know. Uh, <laughs> I, I, would, I would be totally down with that. I would totally be down with that. Uh, so, so is it just like an evening of us discussing the case or do we talk about stuff that isn't? Uh, well, actually, th that might be hilarious. Like, if we do have an evening where we have to, like, discuss the case, because we've got X amount of time that we can posit an excuse why we're not in uniform and we're teaching people to ride horses. Um, and we can, so, like, I, th I think, like, it's, like, late night, and maybe it's it's one of those opportunities, like, it's the classic scene where, like, uh, you know, the, the cops looking at, like, the murder board and everything else order Chinese food in, and you can totally yeah. suggest, uh, what's it called? The Mustang! <laughs> Yes. <laughs> um, if we're going to work late, Drav, like... What? <laughs> yeah, I, I have a feeling that Drav is kind of a... Like, I don't know. Probably not meat pies, but, like, yeah, he's... He's, <laughs> he, he's not he's not a super fancy fancy food kind of kind of guy. So, like, yeah, he's, he's... He probably does not know about the Mustang. Uh, so that's awesome. So what is... Uh, so Clave presenting this talks about, you know... Uh, the Severosi people and all this other stuff, but like, what do you talk about when the food shows up? Like, clearly, you enjoyed the restaurant enough that even his presence was not enough to sour the note. Uh, <laughs> what is what, what? Do you, do you talk about something while we eat? What do you what do you bring up as a topic? Yeah, yeah, totally. For me, I find like it's Lauren. It finds food is such a good sense memory trigger. So I probably like. Um, talk a bit about uh how this reminds me of um like the dining 
like the, like the table we all sit at as like a child, like having like this food. Um, and like the sound of like the death lines, like uh, in the distance and like the smell of like the fireplace and like the, um, the sound of like ward, like sort of chime wards uh, on the air to keep ghosts at bay and that kind of thing. And yeah, let's try, try, to, try to paint a scene for you of like what, it, what, what it's like through this food. So I think, I think uh, Drav is, is listening mostly, right? Like he's got like one leg up on a, on a, on a desk and is like leaning sideways, like eating the stuff, mostly letting you just like chat about Severos and like listening to all that. And, uh, I think, uh, I think what he says is like, he, he says like, Hey, you know, I only had Severos cooking for a little bit. Uh, for the most part I eat whatever the hell they sell on the streets. Like, even as a kid, it was mostly about whether I could lift a loaf rather than, you know, like, what we made. Uh, but he says that there was a, a particular person in, in the Ravens uh, who who was a, a, a Severosi uh, who they, they would insist that everyone have a meal together at least, like, once a week. So, like, usually everyone would end up at a bar and it was, like, this particular bar, like, you know, and, like, in their territory and all that stuff. But, like... Everybody could do whatever during the week, but at least, like, this one time, the Severosi person would actually, like, go back into the kitchen because, like, they need the staff or whatever. Or we had them, you know, we had them bribed or whatever. And, uh, yeah, they, they would they would cook for all of us. And so, like, that's, like, the only reason why he knows exactly what he's eating. You know, like, he's like, yeah, actually, like, I had this dish a couple of times, right? Like, and it was, he would, he would talk about how, like, you know, everybody would be laughing, they'd be talking about jokes, you know, like... A hopper would be trying some like new experiment that that he came up with, and it would always like fizzle and pop. And half the time, like you know, they would use the beer to put out the fires that like electromagnets would cause and things like that. And and so like yeah, he he just he paints this picture of like a gang as a family, right? Like, and it's distinctly different, right? Like to you, it's it's the smell of fires and riding in the open and not being cooped up. And to him, it's this like not everybody is really well off, but they're kind of making it work. And, like, you know, uh, he sort of shares uh, a little bit of that story. Uh, and I, I'm afraid, like, it kind of ends on a sour note, right? Like, because, like, Drav, like, ends that story, right? And, and, and you know, you've heard about you've heard about Hopper, you've heard about Rona, right? Like, so, like, they feature in these stories. And it's hilarious, right? Like, he's got stories about, like, random shit that happens some given week and how he remembers it. But, like, obviously this, uh, this Averosi is a person that died. Uh, cause like most yeah. of the time is, is, is freaking that he's like, and then like, I think like, that's probably like when you're like laughing so hard, you know, like, and then the laughter wears off and just like half sadly at one point he says like, and then ghoul killed all of them. And so like, he just finishes his bowl at that point. So. I, I like the idea to the, um, I, I like the idea of like quizzing being tied to like sort of the fortress that you're, you're in kind of thing. So if, uh, your Severosi friend was familiar with this dish like perhaps it's a case of like oh my god <laughs> like uh, like i know they were my, from my neighborhood from my neighborhood yeah totally and yeah. Uh, we, we sort of bond over that sort of really odd coincidental shared connection and share stories about this mutual like sort of acquaintance friend of ours that sounds and rad then, and then i think my's even like i had no idea what happened to them they just disappeared one day and uh, now i know you know Oh, cool. So you like you actually knew this person before they they crossed over? Yeah, yeah. They were gonna make it big in the city, you know. Like they were <laughs> sick of just sort of uh, roughing it on the deathlands. Cool. So I'm feeling like I should roll some relate and see if I can fill up the last two ticks of my clock to yeah. make you a friend. Awesome. We can be friends for real. <laughs> uh, all right. Cool. Let me. Boop. We're just gonna roll really late. And zero dice. Hey! Maya's officially a friend. Nice. Fantastic. That feels right. That that seed did a lot to uh, bonding. <laughs> there we go. Now I gotta work on my vice of writing. And I feel like bonding over a friend you both realized you had who is now dead while eating in a restaurant suggested to like shown to you by a total jerk is like the most authentically urban thing that I've ever seen in a game. 
uh, I just think it's very funny. It's like, oh yeah, total asshole showed me this place. It's awesome. <laughs> <laughs> totally. It's, uh, Guy's a jerk. Food is good though. <laughs> Food is amazing. Yeah. Cool. Uh, do we want to take a break and then do an investigation? Cool. Yeah, I'm down. Cool. Yeah, sure thing. Awesome. awesome. Uh, so folks, we're only going to be gone like five minutes. I am having some weird stuff going on with my, my, my clock. So uh, uh, I promise it's going to be six minutes, even if it's not uh, not necessarily visible. And uh, we'll see you all soon. Awesome. <laughs>